This is a delicious healthy spread from the Mediterranean. It's called Baba Ganoush and I'm going to show you how to make it. Hi, I'm Uncle Carl, foodie and world traveler. After traveling most of my life, I've realized wherever you are in the world, folk are just folk. What makes us the same outweighs what makes us different. And the best way of seeing that is by sharing some of their culture over a hot, soulful meal. Come join me as I recreate some of the dishes that I've experienced from around the world and occasionally go visit them to see the amazing differences and despite those differences, realize how similar we all are. Thank you for joining me on this trip and welcome to Twin Moons Tavern. Baba ganoush is a spread that is commonly used in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cooking. It is a lot like hummus, but instead of the main ingredient being chickpeas, it is eggplant. It's delicious, it's healthy, and it's super easy to make. First you gotta start off with your eggplant. I would normally make this recipe using three eggplants, however the eggplants as a whole did not look all that good in the supermarket today, so I'm making do with just these two. You wanna try to pick an eggplant that is gonna have as few seeds as possible. And since we don't have x-ray vision, if you look down at the base, where the, for lack of better term, navel is, if it's a simply a round point, as opposed to an elongated slit, it will have fewer seeds, or at least I'm told. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook these. Before you do that, you wanna poke a couple of holes in them. The reason we're doing this is if you don't, all the steam will build up inside and they'll burst and make a giant mess. I'm cooking them outside over some coals. This is the ideal method because you're going to get a lot of smoky flavor to it. But if you don't have something outside that you can cook on, if you do have gas burners inside the house, I would suggest using those. You can just cook them over gas burners on a low heat. Although, if you do it that way, you'll have to baby them a little bit more. And then, of course, you can always just put them on a sheet pan and stick them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. While the eggplants are cooking, we're going to get the rest of our ingredients together. Get yourself a clean bowl, and then our first ingredient we're going to be using is tahini. This is a Mediterranean ingredient. It's simply a paste made out of sesame seeds. It has a taste very similar to peanut butter, but not quite. You want to use about two tablespoons of that. Then you're going to get two to three cloves of garlic. Crush them, peel them, and give them a super fine mince. Add those into your bowl and a little bit of salt because everything needs a little bit of salt. Next we're going to go ahead and juice one lemon. Trick to get as much juice out of them as possible. Before you slice it in half, go ahead and roll it, applying some pressure. This will loosen up a lot of the juice from the pulp and then just squeeze it directly in. You can use your hands like this. If you don't want to use your hands, you can get yourself a little strainer to do it in. That works fine too. Add about a quarter cup of olive oil. Get yourself some parsley, just to shave some off of a small bundle. Remove any big stems and give it the old rocky choppy. In this particular dish, I'm gonna leave them fairly coarse. Next, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, plain full fat. And then I'm just going to mix all that together. Clean my work area a little bit. And then check my eggplant. Once they start getting dark like this, go ahead and flip them over. I was a little cheap with the charcoal when I first started this fire. Quite frankly, I didn't use enough. So these have been taking a little while. So I had to take them off and add some more. Once they're going, you just need to flip them about every 15 minutes until they're nice and soft, and then pull them out. This took me about an hour, hour, 15 minutes to do. That's mostly because of the charcoal issue I had. But if you use the right amount of charcoal right from the beginning, it shouldn't take but maybe 45 minutes. Now the insides of these eggplants are super, super hot. So you can't really handle them at this point, but to help them cool off, I'm gonna cut off the tips and then slice them in half. And as soon as I do that, you can just see the steam pouring out of them. Now these still had a lot of seeds in them. The seeds are going to add a bitterness to the baba ganache, so you don't want them in there. You don't have to be super picky and get them all out, but any large concentration of the seeds you want to go ahead and scoop out. I've gone ahead and started on this while they're still cooling off because I'm not touching them and I need something to do. Again, you don't have to be 
super diligent about getting every last seed, but if you can get the bulk of them, you'll be doing fine. Once they've cooled off enough to handle, just go ahead and take the rest of the flesh and scrape them off of the skin. This will come off super easy. Now that I've gotten all the flesh out, I've exposed a few more seeds, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those out as well. Now that I have all the flesh separated from the skin and I've taken out the bulk of the seeds, I'm giving them a quick chop just to make them more manageable. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them in with the mixture that I made before. Give them a quick stir and then follow that up with a potato masher until I get the consistency I like. Now this is still going to be a very smooth product, but it's going to be a little lumpy because I'm using a potato masher. If you're used to the really super smooth baba ganache and that's what you want, you just, instead of using the potato masher, just go ahead and use a food processor. But in general, I like things rustic, so I'm doing it this way. And when you remember that you forgot the cumin, add in about a tablespoon of cumin. Give it all one good stir. Give it a quick taste just to make sure your seasoning's on point. And that's really about it. Now it's time to plate it. I'm going to do a little swirly design here just to make it a little bit more interesting than just a bowl of paste. Follow that up with a good healthy drizzle of olive oil and then I'm going to sprinkle on a little paprika just for some garnish. I'm going to go ahead and plate that with some slices of bread. It'd be more traditional if I use pita or naan, but this is what I had. And there you have it. Hamas's neglected stepsister, Baba Ganoush. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you next time.